And new at six, dozens of homeowners are asking the township board to stop a Verizon cell phone tower from popping up behind a Canton church. They managed to stop an earlier proposal several months ago, but this time the company wants to build on privately owned land, which could change the game. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park is in Canton with much more on this story. Verizon wants to build a new cell phone tower right here behind the Abundant Life Church of God. But as you can see, residents living on the other side of the road tell us that's not something they want to look at. It would be a blight, definitely a blight. Phyllis Johnson and several of her neighbors are hoping to stop a proposal to build a brand new 120-foot cell phone tower across the street right behind the Abundant Life Church of God. We have citizens that have come forward and told us this thing goes through, we're selling, we're getting out of here. The church struck a tentative agreement with Verizon Wireless, but already there's strong pushback from homeowners who feel the tower would be an eyesore and a threat to public health, nearby wetlands, and their property values. It will help us expand it to do home deliveries to people that can't get out and that are in need of food. Verizon says the new tower would solve its service gap near Palmer and Hannon and would lease the land from Abundant Life for $1,000 a month. Money senior pastor Dan Smitherman says would be a huge help for their weekly food pantry. It's a tightrope we have to walk. Uh, you know, we want to serve the community, but on the same hand, we don't want to offend the community or hurt the community. The goal is no, capital N-O, cell tower, and we will fight this to our last breath. Those residents were prepared to speak up at Monday night's planning commission meeting, but the township supervisor says that meeting has been postponed to February or even March. In Canton, Jane Park, 7 Action News.